don't crack wise about the Brewster sisters. They're two of the dearest, sweetest, kindest old ladies that ever walked the earth. Oh, George, bless you. We're married. Elaine and I are married. <laughs> when the curtain goes up, the first thing you see is a dead body. The next thing... Hey, mister. Happy bridegroom! Congratulations, Miss Darling! Darling! No, no, no. Never mind that now, Aunt. Aunt Abby, Aunt Martha. You know how we've always planned to send Teddy to that sanitarium, Happy Dale? Teddy's killed a man, darlings. <laughs> Nonsense. But there's a body in the window seat. Yes, dear. We know. You know? <gasps> You just forget about it. Forget? We never dreamed you'd peek. What the? I do think that Martha and I have the right to our own little secrets. <laughs> oh, no, 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 stop, stop. Don't whistle in my ear, please. What, I'm the, what is wrong? Look at your hair. Oh, my goodness. What color is it? Quick, is it turned? Oh, darling, huh? what's a man? Huh? 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 What hair? Oh, oh, Those Elaine. Those flowers are so beautiful. Oh, if I could only tell you where they... Oh, you oh, smell so nice now. I'd take one teaspoonful of arsenic, uh, then add half a teaspoonful of strychnine, and then just a pinch of cyanide. Hmm. Should have quite a kick. Just the thought of Jonathan frightens me. Do you remember how he used to cut worms in two with his teeth? I'm Jonathan, you know. Your nephew, Jonathan. Have... Have you been in an accident? My face. Dr. Einstein is responsible for that. Yeah, take it easy, Johnny. Take it easy. Don't worry. The last five years, I give him three different faces. I give him another one right away. Holy... What's that? What's that thing there, darling? That thing that looks like a cigar store, darling. What is that? It's your brother, Jonathan. I've come back home, Mortimer. He talks! Yes, I talk. Mortimer, have you forgotten the things I used to do to you? When you were tied to the bedpost, the needles under your fingernails. Mortimer! Wait a minute. He... Where'd you get that face, Hollywood? <laughs> Mortimer, you know what I do to people who order me around. Hey, Johnny. Hmm? Johnny, Mr. Spinazzo. Oh, please. Oh, Doctor, we've got a wonderful setup here, and we can make a fortune. Two old ladies as a front. Only Mortimer stands in our way. Johnny? What's the matter, darling? What is it? I almost got killed. Killed? And Abby, and Martha. Oh, no, no. no. It, it was Jonathan. You can see that it's got to be done, can't you? Yeah. I know that look. Now, he knows he's in the house with murderers, mm -hmm. so he ought to know he's in danger. He's even been warned to get out of the house. And does he go? Yes. No, he doesn't. He stays. Huh. This fellow doesn't even have sense enough to be scared. No. Or to be on his guard. No, no. A fellow never sees or hears anything. No, no. Does he? That's right. Uh, but, but what does he do? What does he do? Well, the big chump sits there. This fellow is supposed to be bright. He sits there. Now, get a load of this. Look. <laughs> Look at the attitude. <laughs> Large as life. He sits there waiting to be tied up and gay. <laughs> A big dog. <laughs> Listen to my answer, sweet, charming old ladies, don't you? Well, there's 13 bodies buried in the cellar. <laughs> Never, my dear brother, were you out of my mind. The more you struggle, Mortimer, the more you strangle yourself. We drink to you, doctor. To my dear, dead brother. Hey, you. Oh. But it's not only against the law. It's wrong. It's not a nice thing to do. This is developing into a very bad habit. What's all the screaming about? But I told you, oh, it's way past her bedtime. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. oh, don't, don't, don't bother me now. Yes, but 
this time we'll go where we want to go. Junior's not going to drag me into another one of those scary pictures. No, they ought not to be allowed to make such pictures, Justice Brighton. 